Hey, how's it going? So today I got another little side project I want to do on the Continental. And this is something that I haven't liked since I bought the bike, and that is the side panels on this. I just don't like the way they look. They're sort of big and bulky and rounded. And they got the logo on the side, which I never cared for. Now, since I bought the bike, I have had them covered up with those side bags. There's a couple things I just don't like about the side bags either. So I'll talk about that in a second. But for the side panel, I wanted just like a simple metal side panel. And there are two companies that have very similar designs. One is MK Designs, the other one is Bach Motorcycles. Now MK Designs is about $20 cheaper than Bach, but the problem I have with MK Designs is they have their big MK logo right on the side. I don't want someone else's logo on my bike. So I decided to go with Bach. Now the second thing I'm trying to decide on is do I go with the black or do I do chrome? So. I have the Mr. Clean, and I do have some leftover chrome from my botched attempt at wrapping that headlight fairing, that headlight cover. If you saw that video, I did a horrible job trying to wrap it myself, so I had to pay a company professionals to do the job right. But these, pretty simple, just flat pieces. So with the leftover vinyl, I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm gonna put one on one side, one on the other, and just see which one looks better. Now, the bags I have on the bike are the raw and rugged side bags. Now, I like them, they're great quality, and they're very convenient to have on the bike. But after a year and a half, a couple things. One is they're starting to sag a bit. They just have these elastic type bands on the sides, and the bags are always just sagging down, and I just don't think they look very good. Also, I do overstuff the bags a little bit, and so they've lost a little bit of their shape, and so I'll be taking them off and just having the side panels. Now, they are very convenient. I mean, in these bags, I do keep an air compressor, a tire repair kit, extra sunglasses, another pair of extra glasses, a rag to keep the chrome tank clean, flashlight, Gorilla Glue, don't know why I have that in there, spare fuses, tire pressure gauge, documentation, registration, insurance, and a kickstand pack when you're parking in soft ground. So losing the convenience of having the bags is gonna be a pain. I do have an idea of something I wanna do maybe in the future, and people will probably say something about performance issues. My thought is to do an airbox delete on the bike, but actually leave the panels on and turn that empty space in there into like a storage compartment on the bike. But we'll see, that's a whole other big project right there. So taking off the bags and changing the side panels should be pretty easy. Uh, with these bags, it's just like I mentioned, the straps that hold them on. And you can see here is it does kind of scuff up the side panel a bit. But like I mentioned, that's kind of what I didn't like about these is that they're just big and bulbous looking and then they got the big logo on the side. But it's pretty simple, straightforward. You have this panel and on here, you have these screws that should line up and mount with that. I just noticed that has three screws. This only has two. Hmm. But I don't think they should matter. So the back of this panel has some sort of star type screw head. This one has a four millimeter Allen, 10 millimeter bolt on the back. And just the two fit perfectly. They didn't put a third one in there just because then you'd be drilling a hole and having a bolt right in the middle of the panel which wouldn't look as good and just doesn't seem necessary. Uh, when you get down there and twist, it twists the vinyl. So the key for that is rather than turning on the vinyl side, turn on the bolt side. Okay, so the other thing we're gonna lose, which I knew, but I just completely forgot about until now, is the tools. Not only tools, but the two bag holder that goes on here. Uh, so if we try to put this on, obviously it won't fit. So this also is a 10 millimeter. Now, as far as the seat release, I'm not sure what people do with that. I'll have to look it up and see if anybody else out there has some ideas. I guess for now, I should, you could just tuck it in there and leave it dangling, but I'll have to see if there's a way to mount it 
make it a little bit better. But anyway, so there's the chrome, which it doesn't look bad, but because it is vinyl and you have this, what they call like an orange peel effect, it has like a ripple effect. I don't know if I like that. I think it's a little bit too obvious on a flat piece. On my headlight cover in the front, because of the curves, I don't think you see the ripples as much and it's a little bit separated. Whereas this, you see this flat piece here next to the tank where the tank has a mirror finish. That with a ripple. I don't know. I like the idea of it. I think in chrome that would look better than the black, but I don't know if I like it like that. I'll put the black one on the other side and then see how that one looks. Okay, so when you go to put this on, Two tips. First is this piece here where you're going to screw into, you may need to loosen it so you could turn it to the right angle. If it's too straight, you can't come in it. So just loosen it a little bit so that way you can adjust the angle and then if needed, once you put it on, you can tighten it. The second thing is this clip that's on the stock piece. This you'll need to take off and put onto this new one here like that, that way you can screw into it. And then it just simply goes back on like the stock piece does. That plugs into there, and then you just screw this back in up above. All right, so got both panels on, one black, one chrome. Figured I'd take it out into the real world just to see how they look. Uh, the black looks good. The black is much better, I think, than the stock panels. The chrome, if it was metal chrome, I think it would look much better. I think it would be what I would go for if it was metal. But with the vinyl, I'm just not so sure. Uh, I hit it with some heat and squeegeed it a little bit, see if I could smooth out some of that orange peel effect. Um, I'm not sure how much it helps. I'll probably just leave the bike parked in the sunlight for the rest of the day, maybe tomorrow. See if just getting a little bit of heat on it helps smooth things out. But I'm just gonna pull over up here, get off the bike, take a look at it, and see how it looks, see which one I like better. So I have the bike here. I figured I'd take it out to see how it looks. So this is with the black panel side, which I think it looks good. I think it looks better than the stock panels. But then over the chrome side, if that was just a chrome panel and not vinyl wrapped, I think I would definitely like that better. I think it looks good in this light. It doesn't look too bad, but once you see it from certain angles, you just get that orange peel effect, which I think just really takes away from the look of it. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to give it a couple days on the bike, see if it smooths out a little bit in the sunlight, maybe a little bit more heat, but the black panel doesn't look bad. So I don't think you can go wrong either way. Mm -hmm. 